Okay, when adding and subtracting decimals, uh, really pretty basic. When you add or subtract decimals, you just need to be sure to line up the decimal point and the decimal places. So when it's written as a number sentence, you just rewrite it up and down again. 3 and 254 54 thousandths plus 1 and 247 thousandths. We've got the decimal points lined up and the tenths are lined up with the tenths, hundreds with hundreds, and thousands with thousands. So then you add the place values together, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 5, and 5 is 10, 5. So the answer is 4 and 501 thousandths. That's for adding. Same thing uh, goes with subtracting. If we had 6 and 21 hundredths minus 3 and 5 tenths, we would again rewrite it up and down vertically. 6 and 21 hundredths minus 3 and 5 tenths. Okay, with that, sometimes students find it helpful to add a zero. So we do have hundreds lined up with hundreds, tenths with tenths, so on and so forth. Again, decimal points lined up and the decimal places. So now I could add them together. I've got one, seven, Oops, I gotta subtract, not add. So one minus zero is one, two minus five cannot do, so I need to regroup or borrow, cross out six, make it five. That makes this two, 12. 12 minus five is seven, and five minus three is two. 2 and 71 hundredths is the answer for that subtraction. So those are both examples of adding and subtracting decimals, being sure to line up the decimal points and the corresponding place values.